In one word. In one word only. How did an Austrian youngster from a small village become one of the most well-known individuals in the world? Dream. I was poor because I didn't have anything. I had no money, I had no things, we had no TV, we had no refrigerator, we had nothing as kids. But I was rich because I had a dream. You had a dream. I had a dream of becoming uh, the greatest bodybuilder. And I had a dream to use bodybuilding as a means to get into films. Well, I grew up in Austria. After, I was born after the Second World War in 1947. It was poverty, there was no food around, no, really nothing. And I think that was the reason why I developed such a uh, tremendous desire, the, a desire to get out of there uh, and a desire to make it in life, uh, to achieve big things. And then when I learned in school later on about America and about the, the skyscrapers, the big freeways, the big cars and all that, I said to myself, you know, I want to be part of this big thing. At the age of 21, Arnold moved to the USA in October 1968, fulfilling his dream and barely spoke any English. He trained at Joe Weider's Gold's Gym in Venice, Los Angeles, California. This is where everything started. Arnold called me back, said, Joe, I don't have any money. I can't buy a ticket on the plane. I have nothing. All he had was his briefcase with his workout suit and shoes, nothing else. So along came Arnold, who was a blueprint for what you wanted in a bodybuilder, what Joe Weider wanted. In 1969, he made his debut and was defeated by three-time champion Sergio Oliva. The problem with Sergio is that uh, he was dealing with Arnold, who is just the smartest bodybuilder on stage ever. In 1969, it was the last time he lost against someone. He promised himself that he wouldn't lose again. Arnold came back in 1970 and won the competition. To this day, Arnold still holds the record for being the youngest Mr. Olympia at the age of 23. that you always challenge yourself you know, and I'm a strong believer in the philosophy of staying hungry you know, and really always being hungry for more and being hungry for uh, bigger and better things you know. best bodybuilder in the world to have charisma, a, a PR brain, a sense of humour, somebody who could connect with an audience. You could have almost written it and said, let's get this guy.
everyone was basically you know laughing at uh, at me at those ideas and uh, which was okay for me because there was one thing that I had and that is a very clear vision of my goal in a way even the day when I won the seventh Mr. Olympia title I felt like you know I was not in great shape so I was always so hungry for perfection and so hungry for being bigger and better and, and lifting more and performing better and all those things. I think you need that in order to be successful, in order to really be extraordinary in, in the profession that you do. If you're happy with just anything, it's not going to motivate you enough to really work for it. And I think it was a big plus and I think that all goes back to my childhood, yeah. you know, for growing up in a, in a little place with nothing. No more, because it was my last year of competition, and I would like to announce officially that I'm retiring from bodybuilding competition. Bodybuilding has been a beautiful experience for me, and I will continue it for the rest of my life. I only stopped competing, but I'm not stopping bodybuilding. It's the greatest sport. Thank you.